we have continued to see uh, activity that leads us to believe that there's escalation that may be taking place. And so we're taking all the appropriate actions, both from a security perspective and well as um, uh, our ability to make sure that the president has a wide range of options in the event that something should actually take place. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on tensions between the U.S. and Iran after the U.S. deployed a carrier strike group and a bomber task force to the Middle East following a number of, quote, troubling Iranian threats, which U.S. officials calling very real. National Security Advisor John Bolton hoping to send a clear and unmistakable message to the regime. Let's bring in foreign policy analyst at the Heritage Foundation, Nile Gardner, for more. So, Nile, does Iran really have the stomach for a war with the U.S.? Well, I think this um, announcement coming from uh, uh, John Bolton sends absolutely the right message to Iran based upon the intelligence that is available, which does suggest that Iranian forces are possibly uh, planning some kind of action against uh, U.S. forces inside Iraq. There's still about 5,200 U.S. troops uh, based inside uh, Iraq. And certainly, I think Iran has the military strength within Iraq, certainly, to strike against U.S. forces. And so what this uh, signal today from the White House sends to Iran very clearly is that the Iranian regime is playing with fire in terms of any kind of aggression against the United States uh, and its allies. And so this is a very robust message uh, being sent here. Uh, and I hope that the Iranian regime will heed the warnings here and back off. Uh, Niall, this is Gary Kalpam. What are the odds... Uh, that some of this intelligence or all the intelligence uh, came from Israel. And uh, the, what does this have to do with the fact that Israel is being bombarded right now uh, by Hamas? Well, there are reports that uh, some of the intelligence uh, uh, may have come from Israel. That hasn't been uh, confirmed yet. But I think that uh, this latest measure by the White House should be viewed within a larger uh, context. Uh, of action against the Iranian regime on, on many, many uh, fronts. And so you have the U.S. sanctions that have been applied against Iran. You've also seen uh, the designation of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist organization recently. But also the United States is certainly assisting Israel uh, in defending itself against an array of Iranian-backed uh, terrorist uh, movements that have been raining rockets on yeah. uh, Israel we'll over talk the past about that days. we'll be talking about that in just a moment uh, about the Israeli Hamas. side of it but go ahead